What's up, Rooks? Welcome back to All The Castles, the show where we visit all the castles in the UK. Today, we are here at Dalston Hall. Obviously, it's in Dalston. It's in the name. Use your brain. So, um, there is a possibility that we won't be able to film the hall of this castle. It is on an open day, but it's normally a wedding venue, so that makes things very easy for us, definitely. Um, so if this is a shorter video, we apologise, probably tack it on to a, another video. Now for my father's spiel. Hmm, transition. Hello, as Simon says, this is Dalston Hall in Cumbria, between uh, Carlisle and Sebegham. And uh, it dates originally from the mid to late 14th century. Sorry, the 15th century. You can see there's actually two towers from this angle. You can see the top of the earlier one, that's from the 15th century, and then there's one from the uh, 16th century uh, beyond it, which is a story higher. And there's a 16th century wing between them. It was built by John Dalston, and they also married into the Kirkbride family. And on one of the towers, there are some curved shields of both families. There were additions to this um, hall in 1556 and 1620. And the earlier tower has very thick walls, as, as you can see, uh, turrets and a parapet. There's a stone vaulted basement and there's a mural staircase going up to the roof. And they've also got an inner iron gate that is also 15th, 15th century. And so now we're crossing our fingers and hope to be allowed to get a closer look at some of these features. Right, we are definitely in luck. Um, we are actually allowed to film, so, uh, oh, copyrighted music, I need to be loud. So anyway, uh, yeah, we're allowed to film, so this is the outside. It's actually a really nice property. Hello, well, I'd like to pay tribute to the Welton Hall Estate, who are allowing us to film closer, so... Uh, they're very friendly. If you want to have a wedding here, it is an absolutely venue, lovely venue. I must stress that there's no paid promotion. We're not being paid to say this, but the staff are very friendly and I can't say enough about how beautiful it is. Anyway, on to the history. This is the earlier tower. This is the 15th century tower. As I was saying, there are three stories to it. Uh, the windows look like they're from different periods. I'm thinking those are most likely to be medieval at the top and perhaps these little side windows, but uh, I'm not an architectural expert. Now, do you remember I said on the outside that there are carved shields? You can perhaps just see them there at oh. the top. Um, I will zoom in using the really awkward zoom function on your phone. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. these. You can see the four. Oh, as I said, those are the arms of the Dalston and Kirkbride family. Obviously, this iron staircase is much more modern. Uh, I, can't, I can't remember whether the old Newell staircase is in this tower or the other one. We can perhaps... Uh, have a look inside and that might make it a bit clearer. But, as I said, this wing here, linking the two towers, was built in the 16th century. Sorry for the uh, very shaky footage. I uh, had to use the phone screen itself, which sort of caused a shake. So I apologize for that and the exposure problem. But yeah, whatever. Okay, this is the uh, 16th century tower, which as you can see has four uh, 
stories and much more consistent windowing if you can uh, see they're all pretty much from the same period the turreting i think by that point in history it's more ornamental than defensive so yeah and then you've got this marvelous uh, elizabethan uh, wing connecting the two so fabulous let's pop inside and see if we can get any access to this stone haunting base now this lovely games room is on the uh, bottom of the uh, 15th century tower so we're presuming that the stone vaulted basement is beneath our feet obviously this has been uh, modified to form a lovely uh, games room but you can perhaps see that the shape of the roof is still that sort of vaulted, round vaulted uh, design Right, and crossing in, here is the 15th century iron gate that I mentioned. The, because uh, of the lack of light, I'm sorry for the terrible quality of the footage. And uh, perhaps this is the door to the uh, staircase, the old staircase. You cannot see it, but there is a dark wooden door there. Again, sorry for the lighting. And this is perhaps the original ceiling. You can't see it, again, but there is a ceiling above us which looks original, and a doorway of which also looks original. Forgive me, for I have sinned. There is actually also a couple steps of which also look original. Of course you've got a lovely uh, Elizabethan hall here with them. Intact gallery, some nice pictures. Mm. It's got its own kind of banister, that's lovely. Okay, we're, this point. Oh, that was we're now going up the original Newell staircase to the top of the 15th century tower. Marvellous sunstone. We must really oh. thank the uh, owners of this venue for letting us yeah. come up here. They've really bent over backwards for us. That's lovely of them. Oh, mind your head, Dad. This is a very... Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's on an aberration tower. I'll tell you when you say. Okay. I'll even put my hand in the way to cushion any blows. Okay, yeah. And here we are on the parapet. In a rather better state of repair than Ration. Fantastic. Yeah. Bit of a shame about the modern chimneys, but can't have everything. Oh my goodness, Dad. We even have access to that, though. Well. Excellent. <laughs> oh. And here we are on the uppermost turret. Fantastic. That's looking out towards Carlisle. There's a view of the 16th century tower, which is actually, now look, actually below the level of this extra turret, I think. It is. Yeah. So this part of the building was built uh, by the owner's wife to show her love for, uh, for her husband. And if you look down there, there's a, well, you, actually you'll have to see it from the garden. If you look along the bottom of it, there's an inscription written backwards. I don't know why, but it's written backwards to... Interesting. And is that the Lake District we're looking at? So, there? yeah, the Lake District's more that kind of way. That'll be the Pennines. Ah, right, yes. Pennines, Pennines, Pennines yes. Skinner. 
Right, yeah, you can just about pick it out. Yeah. You've got the massive pull back. Yeah. Oh, right, completely the opposite direction to what I said, yes. Right, great stuff. So here we can see the backwards inscription that our friend told us about. Um, it was commissioned by a female, presumably a Mrs or Lady Dalston, for her lover, but uh, nobody's quite sure why it's written backwards. And we think the two animals you can see at the end are meant to be whippets. Although one does look astonishingly like a rat. And there's also another piece of the inscription there. I'll see my finger poke mm. up on the footage. That looks to me a bit like a skull there, but I'm probably wrong. Okay. Right, thank you very much. Read it. Well, it's not a book, but it's a passage in a book. It's uh, the several ghosts that have been reported here and we had uh, a psychic and all sorts come here and they've felt all kinds of different vibes. Uh, there's, there's supposed to be a creature in the cellar uh, called Mr Fingernails and there is um, Sad Chloe I think she's called, uh, which is a grey lady that walks along the... Uh, uh, inside of the hall there in the gallery and there was a gardener that hung himself in the tree over there and he's supposed to walk the grounds but never comes into the hall into the house. Okay. A few of the bits and pieces that people have reported over the years. So room four, which is just this one here, is supposed to be the most haunted room where you see most visions. Right, okay. So, Right. Yeah. But yeah, if you research it, there's quite a lot of ghost stories attached to the, to the building. Excellent. So, another reason to come and stay here. Oh, well, we'd like to thank you very much for watching today's video. And we would also like to thank the staff here at Dalston Hall for accommodating us today. Um, we heavily recommend that you visit this place at least once, whether for a wedding or just on an open day to have a look around fantastic venue beautiful lovely people so yeah fantastic subscribe